Do you know that you're, you're, you're a complete mystery to me? I don't know what you're thinking. You give me a clue. Queen. You were thinking about the queen? Mm. Okay. How do you feel about me making, mm. making a film about you? <laughs> oh, you just kissed my microphone. Can you help me introduce the characters in the film? So what's your name? Mimi. And what's my name? A clown. I'm not a clown. Here's some family photos. Show me who you can see. Who's that? Mimi. And who's that there? Who's that at the end? That's Daddy. Daddy. Who's that? Hey. And next to him? D. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Who is it? Timmy. That's right. Mmm. Mmm. Where are you going? Oh, it's my place. Sitting over here. Yep. Ready? Steady. What do you imagine he thinks of you? I don't think he analyses things at all. As you tend to. When I'm stressed, or maybe not even known I was stressed, he's come up to me and just touched my arm. And it, you can almost feel it draining away. I feel it like a lightning conductor, just a, just a small touch. What do you think he's trying to do? I don't think he's trying to do anything. He's just empathetic. So he understands how you see things? He understands how you feel. Probably better than you do. What he thinks is a mystery to me. Yeah. I've no idea what's going on in his head. Maybe nothing is. It could be a total blank. Mm. 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 But I've no idea. I've no idea how, what goes on in his head. I mean, he loves food. Anything to do with cooking and food, he's there like a shot because mm. he enjoys his food. But then he hasn't got that much else in his life, really. Music? Music, yes. He, oh, yes, he likes he likes music. Mm. And, he, and, and, of course, the circus. He's mad about clowns and the circus. <laughs> Do you know where that came from? No, not at all. I mean... He'd obviously like to be a clown. Maybe that's hiding behind the mask. I don't know. No, so. no, no. I don't think he wants to be a clown. <laughs> I think he likes what they portray, which is a nice and simple mime of life. But he's got the family sense of humour. I just looked at him, I just knew. And that was good, knowing from the beginning, because I think it's harder if you think you've got a normal child and then find out later that then there's something wrong with them. So you could sort of grieve all at the beginning, really. So it was, it was like a bereavement. You're grieving for the child that you hoped you'd have, instead of which you've got this other child. I remember finding out that he got Down syndrome and just holding him and thinking, oh dear, start again. When did your feelings settle down? That's no, no, that was just an instant. So life would not be the same without Jamie. He's a blessing. Yes, I, I, I'm a bit bemused when people hear that they're having Down's children and only see the negative side. Um, but there are lots of positive signs. 
There's a video of Jamie and Guy playing recorders. And he's about six, maybe. And he's full of energy. And that slowly, slowly diminished. I feel like it correlates with moving out. Yes, it does, Because that's the yes. same time he stopped getting any sort of educational programme, yes. even, like, not being around the rest of the family. Yeah. No, um, you're right, it, it did change him. Hmm. We worry about the future of how he will cope when we're dead. So our plan was to find somewhere, which we have. He's got to get used to the place, and then we'll disappear, and it won't be quite so bad. The impact is that carers are paid to do things for him, so he no longer talks or does things for himself because he doesn't need to. Yeah. No, you're right, but you'll never know. You can only do what you think's best at the time and really you can't regret what you do. What's your plan for Jamie in the future? Um, oh, in terms of living... I found an institution, a charity, that provides housing and all sorts of things. So I don't want to put that guilt onto any of my children. But I just hope they would look after him. I know people get busy lives and forget. But I should hate to think of him in his own little world and then none of his siblings taking an interest. We're all quite spread out now. We are, yeah, but that's irrelevant. OK. I feel like I'm being told off. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you are.